Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back on Ike's Racing, Marco speaking near Monza and uh, welcome back also to the theme hands-on. There's another new game on my channel I'm trying to start to explore together with you and uh, it's Total Immersion Racing for PlayStation 2 in this case, coming from year 2002 also. And so after almost 20 years from uh, its launch, nowadays we could call it a sort of a missed opportunity for uh, the developers because um, it was a nice game coming at the beginning of the uh, year 2002 precisely, if I'm not wrong. Anyway, with subtitles I will correct myself just in case and uh, was featuring basically a sort of mix uh, between uh, IMSA Endurance Championship and World Sports Car Championship. Back 20 years ago was a bit of a mess uh, between different rules, different categories, etc. But mainly had uh, the famous winning uh, Audis of the 24 hour of Le Mans, uh, the McLaren GTR1 that was uh, more than uh, pure simple street car but anyway from that period this game was featuring basically two main things the first one was the possibility to have also a set of uh, steering wheels and pedals for playstation despite in my case uh, i can only use uh, the controller because uh, the Logitech Driving Force GT I have that works with Gran Turismo, with Super Trucks uh, Racing, uh, etc. Doesn't work with this game, I don't know why, but this is the sad reality of my poor uh, tools available. But anyway, also with the Joypad, the analog one, the famous one with PlayStation, and without any possible, let's say, help from uh, the game, you can enjoy anyway a bit what is the, the game itself. A game that features two main things, as I was starting to say. The possibility to choose, let's say, four scenarios, but the most interesting one is the career mode that gives you the possibility to set up the car, so you have to avoid the amateur level and go directly to the professional one. Not easy, I can guarantee to you it's not uh, easy. And uh, at the beginning of the season, you have uh, a sort of double choice or race with a boring, as usual, German car coming from the Abt Sports Line racing team with a racing team with an Audi TT model, or choose a more, let's say, rural, noble racing and uh, also mm, a more proper look for a car to be a race car. And uh, you have also the presentation of Andrew. Haidt, if I correctly pronounce the name of this man, or Sean Thompson for the Noble Racing. I go with this car, I do it prefer than any possible German car, that to me are all boring, all repetitive and all really, how to say, not exciting, even the sportive uh, versions. And um, so after you choose the team to run for, you are more than welcomed. They say they are uh, the best team on the racing circuit, let's hope so. And uh, the racing engineer will uh, follow you and help you through all the development of the season. So, the first GT season, Grand Tourer season, starts from the Silverstone British racetrack in the version of the 2000s. So, really one uh, very known also from a Formula One point of view or any other track-based uh, category. We let the PlayStation 2 have its uh, usual long loading time. And the first uh, key I would like to suggest you without presumption, but just to enjoy the game if you want to do it, is uh, go to the car setup and uh, alter the settings. You have some possibilities from a general point of view let's say they just include the brake balance, uh, wings uh, and ballast position that is the position of the additional weight within the chassis of the car. I don't touch it, also gears uh, are fine. The first parameter I would like to show you but not touch, number one menu where you can control the tire pressure and the ride height but I haven't touched it. 
also because you don't have a telemetry or a reading to understand uh, what will uh, change from a parameter point of view, changing this kind of parameters. But the suspension number two is the most interesting one because it's where I've placed, as you can see, the highest level of uh, stiffness to avoid the rolling of the car because the physics engine of this game is very hard on uh, rolling uh, while you brake, while you accelerate, while you turn right, you turn left, etc. So if you block like a go-kart the car with the joypad, that is not like a sort of keyboard command, but I mean, it's an analog version just to be, let's say, said so. Uh, you have uh, to rely on uh, the less rolling attitude uh, within the all the, di the direction, let's say, so front rear moving around the center of gravity. And because you also don't have a telemetry function, you just, uh, let's say, try to create a go-kart to be driven very hard and uh, to not react very hard regardless of the hardness of your movement in place. So also the camber and the toe in and toe out is not touched anyway. Just remember suspension menu number two, all hard and go with this figure. That being said, you can go directly to also save the setup even if it was, I think, already saved, but at least you don't lose all the changes you have made, that's it, and then you can go back to the qualifying session and maybe choose for an uh, internal view that was not bad, I mean it's 20 years old, it's not good like Grand Prix 4 of Michael Cross, but it was anyway aligned with uh, Gran Turismo and many other titles. So Silverstone is not... This is the qualifying lap, so make it a good one. Sorry, I forgot the, the racing engineer. Drivability, as said, is not really the best one of the category. It's not a simulator, it's not an arcade. It's a sort of uh, compromise, not uh, refined, let's say, like uh, the Super Trucks racing game I've shown you some days ago with one of the last videos. But anyway, it's playable. And uh, also Silverstone is not laser scanned, so it's more or less like the real one, but not perfect. Also, this, the track itself sounds very narrow, or at least looks very narrow. We will see in the race then uh, how much space we will have to battle with the other cars. Anyway. The other suggestion is to not use the slowest gears because the car tends to spin very easily and so you mitigate more or less with the hard suspension setup the craziness of the car and if you use uh, low gears, sorry high gears while accelerating you avoid to spin. This is the first suggestion as a main key for the car attitude. And then obviously I have forgotten the race engineer but we'll talk every here and there after each lap. And if you use the amateur level, the easiest one, if you do a clean lap, the engineer makes a setup changes while you are driving trying to do a sort of interpretation of your style not bad but you'll need to work harder if you want to take first place okay let's see in the same class where are we so last with five seconds to recover over the other uh, gt cars and just for a comparison point of view, I would say in the amateur level, I was quick up to 2 minutes and 15 seconds. So with the amateur level and the setup changed, at least you can uh, improve a bit your uh, performances. But in the amateur level, you can't control the setup directly. So 
for what I've seen so far, you have to stay with the, the let's say, average level, the professional level, not the, the legend, to have a minimum of control of your car. Anyway, I'm not going to be more boring. I want to stay around 30 minutes of episode. So let's go to race. In front we have the apt Audi TT team. Let's go! I decline from a counter point of view. Let's see if with the noble I will be capable to grab some positions. Maybe not. Let's try to survive and at least to finish the race. Four laps to go, sixth in the class. Remembering also to not use the high grabs while braking because the car is prone to spin and uh, I will activate the second feature of this game that is very original not only a racing engineer to help you and to follow you but if you crash with drivers if you battle too hard you will see the red triangle on top of each car to become a step by step crash after crash from a white setup, a white looking uh, triangle to become increasingly red and it's basically the mood of each driver that if you battle too hard they will remember you and they will try to push you out of the race And it happens uh, between them or against you, it depends on the various situations. Also, the sound compartment is not very good. The car more or less sounds like a, an angry cat. Wow, 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 wow. And also when you arrive close to other cars, the sound is at the same level. They do not increase or decrease depending on the distance. Just listen. into the car in the front have a look to the triangle the race and try to at least arrive in front of the team I have uh, avoided.
207 best personal lap time. Okay, now the the driver behind should be full of anger. So we have to stay far from him to avoid to be pushed out. Destruction Derby. And we are also overlapped by a Bentley that is the prototype of category racing together Too bad. with us. Maybe the next race will be yours. Okay, at least we have passed uh, one uh, Audi TT of the Abt uh, team. Personal best 207. Okay, not bad. At least uh, we are what? Fifth in the class with the only noble racing car. The others are, uh, as you can see from uh, prototype Bentley Dome, Panos, etc. And the Audi winner of Le Mans. We have also the Grand Touring Sports, McLaren, Lister, Vemac, Cintura and Panos. I don't know if the Vemac and the Cintura are real cars or fake one. I would place a sort of a subtitle correcting myself and accept the GT category. We can go on with two points and uh, let's continue because the feature of the game will be also if you clash or crash with the other drivers they will remind you uh, let's say it's not looking good for you this isn't one to tell your gun okay <laughs> nice and um, they will uh, basically remind you they will uh, record in their mind uh, what you were doing, if you did a clash, if you provoked them, etc. And uh, in the next races, uh, they will say, okay, Ike's Racing was that idiot that tried to push uh, us out. So we will see what will happen. And let's go on with the manual. At this point, I would like just to load the Silverstone setup and uh, start from the back uh, also because to me it doesn't make any difference in four laps it's more about load car setup one this one silverstone okay so we can go directly to this activate the triangle as you can see the car in front of me has still the let's go lower point uh, red because it does remind me as an idiot trying to push uh, him out of the race and uh, he will react accordingly
bad approach for both Lesmo corners. stronger on the braking zone compared to the others but I still not chasing the two in the front The sense of speed of this game is not really the best one. Back then Gran Turismo and many other titles were much more uh, realistic from the perception point of view. We will finish last for sure. Sorry for the Audi team, but has been like a mobile, like a moving chicken for a long. 
longer, a longer period than uh, I thought. And uh, luckily, being over left didn't allow me to catch one more lap for uh, the two Audis in front. Oh well, better luck in your next race. I like it because the racing engineer is more full of uh, optimism, more after the race than after the return uh, into the garage. Anyway, we are still scoring one point at least, while in the front they are absolutely making a difference, not like me, so we can continue again. And after some uh, loading time, you will see that the phrase of the racing engineer will be a bit different. <laughs> Last place doesn't cut it. I can't uh, disagree with my racing engineer. Next race will uh, happen in the Springfield racetrack, but because I'm close to 30 minutes of uh, recording, I would like to save the career here, stop the first episode as it is, and uh, maybe go on uh, in the next days. Anyway, overall I must say it's a game uh, very enjoyable. Uh, you have just to, let's say, fine-tune a bit what you have as a car setup, but for the rest also with the joypad you can play and just, uh, let's say, improve a bit corner by corner your uh, drivability. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I don't know if you knew this game, if you tried it before, if you like it, if you hate it, feel free to drop a comment. But anyway, thank you for uh, watching and staying with me. See you very soon. As always, stay home, stay safe, stay racing. See you very soon. Bye bye.